with you. And first let me say this is a very cute owl post sticker on the front. Okay, so going by the contents, this was the uh, trial post that uh, Magical Trinkets wanted to test out sending a, uh, I guess a letter shaped uh, envelope instead of a, uh, like a bubble mailer or something to uh, US and the UK. So obviously a UK person that she asked. And this. So uh, she <clears throat> offered to send the uh, cup cozy for free and I bought the sticker from her and it looks like she included a postcard. So let's have a look. And I, I do like doing these because it's, it's very satisfying for me. Why? Uh, anyway, <laughs> here is this lovely packaged. There's her logo, Magical Trinkets. I'm just gonna take a picture of it first. Okay, so let's open this. I don't wanna rip the packaging off. It's very lovely, shiny uh, tissue paper. Snip it there. That goes through. Look with all the rest. I'm gonna just put this side too. Do -do 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 -do. If you can't tell already, I'm going to put this sticker in my scrapbook. There you go. Ooh, that's cute. Got some star... Uh, I guess would the word be sequins? It's not a sequins, it's a confetti. That's the word, confetti. So here is their card. Add a dash of magic to your life. That's a very cute card. So you can find them on Instagram, Twitter, is that Pinterest? And Facebook. Ooh, love side out. Um, and Etsy. And they have a website as well. I'll uh, put um, what's in the heart. I'll take a picture of it and put it in, in the uh, slideshow thought later. Um, I'm guessing they have this on all of their cards. So 10% uh, off your order. The dash of magic coupon code. I think it's the same for all of them. Maybe. I have no clue. But anyway, that, that's the card. Yeah. Nice this card. And here is the little thank you. Um, it says, thank you so much for your order and for supporting my small business. I hope you're happy with your items. Everything is made with love and care. If you share on Instagram, please tag, because I love to see my products in their new home. Lots of love. Meryl, sorry if I didn't say your name right. Uh, please leave a review on Etsy, it will help my business a lot. And on the back it just says, Thank you so much for helping me out. I hope the package has reached you safely and you're happy with your items again. Thank you for helping me. Congrats. Nice so, This will go in my uh, scrapbook too because I just keep everything in there. <laughs> I'm missing by the feel. This is the tea cozy thing and this is the sticker. And this here is the postcard. And I am going to keep the little star confetti to it because I'm just weird. I'm just gonna... I don't know whether to stick it in my scrapbook or put it in a card sleeve and stick that in. Like that. 
I don't know. Oh, we'll, we'll see. So, here is the postcard or mini print. It's blank on the back. Yes, I've got Dumbledore. I've got about six of them. That's a quote. Uh, Ron said, I believe, in the Philosopher's Stone first movie slash book thing. Yes. <laughs> so that's that. Well, let's do the sticker first, shall we? It's very nice silver and washi tape. I think it's washi tape, anyway. Because it's easy to peel off. Saying that. Why is it it's easy to peel off when it's not peeling off? Well, I'll stick that in my washi tape. I might have to start peeling this off too. I'm just weird like this, but I keep things. But if you also noticed, as I just noticed, she used a silver and green washi tape to signify my Slytherin colors. I think that's her intention anyway. This silver and green are the Slytherin colors. <laughs> um, so what did I say here? I'll do that. The sticky stuff. So this is the sticker that I bought. They did have a very nice eco-friendly packaging with the paper packaging, by the way. Um, I got the Silver Snape Chocolate Frog card sticker that she drew. Because she did have a Kickstarter of all sorts of people. Um, by the time I couldn't pledge for the Kickstarter, so I took this chance and got this, this sticker while she was going to send me that Which is nice. Now for the tea cozy. The cup cozy or however you want to... Okay. So it's cup cozy. Technically that's the same thing. <laughs> um, so. Cup cozy care card. Made of 100% cotton wool. Reusable and washable. I advise hand wash, but only, only, but it can be washed in the washing machine on 40 degrees C or 105 Fahrenheit. It can happen that the cup cozy might give off a bit color with the first one or two washes. And there, there we have it. She's a little thing that says Accio coffee and Accio tea. I personally. I don't really drink it either, but I am still trying to find a good strawberry flavored tea that I like. The one that I kind of like, the strawberry and cream, didn't really taste much. Didn't have a strong flavor, that's the word. But anyway, here is my Capuzzi. Hand um, made, very cute, slithering. Um, let's see, I've got this cup here, so you can see it around. Well, if I can get it on, because this isn't pretty. Water cup. What is this? There, kind of. What it looks like. I personally don't drink out of this cup, I use it for painting, for my watercolors, but you get the idea. That's the back, I'm guessing. That's where she stitched it together. It's very nicely made. Oh, she has, I said a Slytherin color, because I, I use a Slytherin. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so this is all awesome. Very lovely packaging, very shiny, and it's just really lovely. So I'll put this with the rest of my prints. I'm going to stick this in my Harry Potter sticker book. And I'll, I'll use 
this when I actually have a hot drink? Or is it an apple? Or maybe just have one cold drink just to decorate the cup. <laughs> but anyway, so that is interesting. And yes. Oh, it's uh it's very very nicely packaged. She has a nice a lot of tape on the envelope. It's very sturdy, thick cardboard envelope. It's like really sturdy. And um, yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, the reason because she was trying to uh, make her shipping cheaper for every, anybody. Because this one, I think it was 4 euros 50 or something. I think that's what the shipping thing looks like on the front. Anyway, yes, yes. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. But seriously though, this is a very good cardboard envelope to use. I might actually just keep some of my prints in here because it's very, very non-bendy. Okay, I'm just going off on tangents right now. So, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the doorbell for notifications. Oh, right now.